Hi, and welcome to Miss Matthews' Littlest Classroom. Today, we're diving into the fourth video of our beginner series for the updated plan book website. If you've been following along, you'll remember that in our first video, we explored how to add a new school year. In the second video, we tackled adding no school days and events. And most recently, we learned how to add classes to our plan book. Now we're ready to take it a step further by introducing templates into our classes. Let's get started. Templates are game changer. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand how to create and apply templates to your classes. It's basically a set it and forget it for planning. I use it in three ways. One for things that are exactly the same every day, things that repeat weekly, and as general formatting for my lessons that stay the same each time. Let's start with building a template for things that happen the same daily. These are great for things like student arrivals and departures, routines, and can be used later for subplans. You can also use them to attach forms, things that you're gonna use at the same time daily. Move your cursor over to the left navigation panel, slide down and click on templates. Then over to the top right to click on the plus icon to add a new template. We'll start by giving it a title. We'll create one for student arrivals and buses. Here I'll add the description. I write these like I'm explaining it for a substitute teacher that may not have been at our school before. I give more detail than I would need if it was just for myself. Again, this is something I do once and I don't have to do it again for the rest of the year, unless there's a school-wide change. Our next step is to attach this template to a class. In our last video, when we created our classes, we included more than just classes we teach, like our student arrival and buses. On the right side, click on the plus icon. In the class drop-down list, select the class you want to attach the template to. We select the student arrival and buses. In the Days drop-down menu, you can select which days this template applies to. We are going to leave everything selected for this one because it happens every day. Then we'll finish up by clicking on the check mark to save. To see what it looks like, we'll go back to our plans page and take a look. Now you can see the template applied to our student arrival and buses every day. Now let's create a template for things we do every week on certain days. Like on Mondays, we might go to the library or we do the same thing every week when we start our reader's theater or partner plays. I have daily morning check-ins with kids each day. The check-ins have five different question types. For example, on Mondays we have who would win questions and on Tuesdays we have would you rather questions. So let's create some weekly templates for this. Move your cursor over to the left navigation panel, slide down and click on templates. Then over to the top right to click on the plus icon to add a new template. We'll start by giving it a title, Daily Morning Check-Ins, Who Would Win? Then I'll add the description. If you'd like to add an image, click on the three horizontal dots to expand the menu and click on the photo icon. Then navigate to where you have your images saved, select it and resize it. In the class drop-down list, select the class you want to attach the template to. In the Days drop-down menu, deselect the days and then select the day that you want to attach it to. Then we're just going to navigate back up to the check mark and save it. Now I'll fast forward while I create the next day for the Would You Rather days. Now you can see that on Mondays, the Who Would Win template has been applied and on Tuesdays, the Would You Rather questions have been applied. The last way we are going to create a template is for lessons that we want to structure or format the same way. This comes in handy when you basically do your lesson planning the same way, but instead of retyping it in each time, we're just going to copy and paste the structure in so we don't have to do it every time. Move your cursor over to the left navigation panel, slide down and click on templates. Then go over to the top right to click on the plus icon to add a new template. We'll start by giving it a title. We'll call this one LA. In the class drop-down list, select the class you want to attach the template to. In the days drop-down menu, we are going to leave everything selected for this one because I want to structure all my LA lessons this way. Then I'll paste the lesson template into the description. Then we'll finish up by clicking on the check mark to save. One bonus thing applying a template to specific days. 
here's something else for you to consider using templates for. I have partner plays and our weekly routine stays basically the same, but we don't always have a five day week. So I create templates and then apply them later. Let me show you how. First, I'll need to create a new class for this. Since we covered it in the last video, I'll cruise through this part. I'll also need to create templates for each of the five days. I still apply the template to the class it's for. The difference is that I don't apply it to any specific day. So I'll deselect all the days. Then I go back to plans. I hover over the class I want to apply the template to and then click on the three dots. Slide down to apply template, then choose the template I want to apply. On Monday's lesson, I want to apply the day one template. Then I do this for Tuesday's lesson and so on. There now, we've created templates in three ways and learned how to apply a template to a specific day, making your lesson planning process smoother and more efficient. It's really starting to take shape. In our next video, we're going to tackle lesson planning. So make sure to click subscribe to stay updated. As always, happy teaching. See you the next time.